for your guys to help get things uh, back on track tonight? You know, I thought defensively, you know, we did a great job in both halves. You know, look at the numbers, but even the second half was a little better. We held them at 29.4% from the field. They were only one of 14 from three, uh, which is a huge stat. Four for 25 overall, so a 16% clip from the three-point line for them tonight. I thought that uh, DJ did a fantastic job. Iverson kind of kept us alive offensively in that first half with his, his great first half. I thought DJ uh, took command in terms of making some big shots for us. How many threes did he have in the second half, Neil? I don't even know. Three, I, three of the four in the second half. Yeah, I mean. Two in that nine over, or two in the big run, you guys. Yeah, and, and he was fantastic. I played him 38.9 minutes tonight. And, uh, you know, really battled through fatigue. I was really proud of Davon uh, today. I thought Davon Smith had a great game. He had eight defensive rebounds. He was matched up on Gordon most of the time, who ended up being 0 for 11 from the field. Uh, I, I thought that uh, had Tolo Smith getting five assists, that's got to be a career high, and I'm really excited about it. We had, when you look at our stats, the, the, you asked about the second half, I don't know how many we had in the second half, but I know the total, we had uh, 17 assists, excuse me, 18 assists on our 25 baskets. That was huge. Uh, so, you know, really big win for us to get a road win, to get our fifth road win in the conference is huge. I don't, I don't know if we've done that since I've been here. I think it's the most we've had. Uh, but anyway, really proud of our guys, really excited uh, for them. And we showed a lot of maturity and growth in terms of dealing with the adversity uh, of both halves. You know, falling down 27-20, fighting our way back. Uh, to where it ended up being a four-point deficit at halftime, but we had it to two. Second half, what was the biggest lead they had in the second half, Neil? Uh, seven, very early, and then you guys hit the run. Yeah, and uh, it just really, I didn't think the run happened that quick. I thought the run happened. It, it was later, but it was seven. They got down, you got it down to four, and then you hit the run. Yeah. And, got it. and the run was big. Davon was huge in that run. He made a couple of really nice assists uh, to DJ. Uh, I thought Quentin Post gave us huge minutes today. We stretched the lead when he came in the game. He did a great job against the zone, had three for three from the field, really did a nice job for us. I thought uh, Derek Fountain again was very good. He had five big defensive rebounds in the first half. Got a little excited in the second half with a shot in the corner that airballed. But you know, he's got to be, you know, more uh, patient when you have a lead like that. But that's something he'll learn being a freshman. Yeah, and I'm really proud of that because, you know, we're a team that's growing, that has had growing pains. I mean, you see the change in lineups and situations. It's helped us, I think, get to this point. But again, it comes back to our defense. Our defense, again, holding another opponent to 32%. Uh, I think, you know, even though we lost Saturday, it was 32%. Against South Carolina, it was in the same ballpark and same thing with Ole Miss. The last four games, our defense has been absolutely fantastic. The best it's been uh, the entire season. Really excited about that. It was nice today, too. The Iverson Molinar's family came up from Panama and surprised him last night at the hotel. His mother, his dad, you haven't seen him in a year because of COVID. So it was really special for him to have them here. Uh, and I thought that was really cool. Uh, and he came out, and boy, was he good today. I thought he was good at both ends of the floor. He really is, and that foul was tough. I mean, I'll have to watch it again, but I thought the officiating overall was really good. We had three real veteran officials, uh, and I love that. Guys that have done each hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games and get it. So uh, we were fortunate in that respect.
I thought we were better offensively when he was in the game, especially against the zone. Uh, and I thought it was important that uh, we get off to good starts offensively in that second half. And you know, we ended up shooting, uh, what, for the game, 53% in the second half. We shot 50%. Uh, the, 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 the key stat, though, we were 8 for 19 from 3 tonight, which was huge, including uh, 5 for 10, 50% in the second half. I really couldn't. I couldn't tell any fatigue out of them. I thought Miller was fantastic today. We had no answer for him most of the game with 24 points and 13 rebounds. He's a monster. Uh, but, you know, I, and I thought Savion Flagg uh, and, and Jackson, they're seniors. You know, the, the two seniors right there were, were huge for him. This is their last game playing here in this building. And, uh, you know, so they wanted to go out with a win. They were playing their hearts out. So. Uh, I thought that they looked particularly good, and the key to this game was they came out in a 3-2 zone. We had done nothing to prepare for a 3-2 zone going into this game today. They haven't played that at all, uh, you know, or, or much at all during the year at all. So that was uh, really different. I thought it caused us problems in the first half. Second half, we did a much better job, and DJ started to get some really good looks against it. And I thought Quentin really helped us when he came in. He's a big who can turn him. He made a nice shot from the elbow. He made a nice pass. Did some really good things for us.